In this tutorial, we'll look at how to add a CSS file to EJS properly. All right, so I have a simple example here. This is just um, a very simple express app setup. So we have an app.js file. Um, so here it's importing a bunch of stuff. The important part here is that we're um, instantiating an express app and here we're setting the views, right? And actually I'm using EJS in this example. So this should be EJS. And so now let's say we have an EJS file and here we want to link properly to an external style sheet. So in express, you're going to have a public folder for your um, static assets. Those can be images, JavaScript files, JavaScript or style sheet. So what you would do in your EJS file is you can just write link, press tab, and this should be a style sheet. Now the important part here is the is the correct uh, path to that style sheet. Let's say that we have this CSS file here, right? You don't need to use style tags or anything in here, right? So here we can just link to this, but how do you properly link to this style sheet here? So in Express, what we're gonna do is we're going to configure that all static assets are in the public folder. So then, um, here we need to link to it from the perspective of the public folder. So forward slash go into style sheets. And then it's the style.css file. Right, so this is how you properly link to it. Now, this is not enough because now we also need to um, configure the app to use the public folder as like the, the, the starting point of finding the static asset. So you need this line of code. So we're going to say app use. And then you need to use express.static. And it needs to be the, the absolute path to here. So it's actually a little bit cumbersome to write. I always found it a little bit confusing. But you need to use path dot join now path itself is actually also um, something that we are importing here right so make sure you're also link you're also importing to path here require path so then in here bear with me because it, it's a bit confusing we're going to write two underscores their name and then public right as a string so make sure you include this line of code in your express app so that express knows that all your static assets are in the public folder so then when you link to that in your in your EJS file and you have this forward slash here, Express knows, okay, so we need to look into the public folder here because, well, you want to load a style sheet, right? And we have just configured that things like style sheets, right? Style sheet is a, is a static asset like images and script files. Those are the most common ones. They are in the public folder. So that should solve your issue, right? Now, also, if your... CSS is not in a folder like this. Maybe you just have it loosely sitting in uh, the public folder like this without all of these subfolders. Maybe you just have public and then just style.css, right? In that case, you need to remove this, of course. Then the URL would be this, style.css. Do not include public, right? So some people make the mistake. They think oh, it needs to be forward slash public. That's not necessary, right? This is what the link should be in this case. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.